Ruth Heller's How to Hide a Butterfly and Other Insects. If you take a careful look, you'll see how creatures in this book are camouflaged and out of view, although they're right in front of you. The butterfly that you see here just folds its wings to disappear. This moth will do a different thing. It covers up each underwing, so all that anyone can see is the bark upon a tree. The inchworm's feet are at both ends. To move, it stretches and it bends. Then it performs a magic trick and imitates a twig or stick. The praying mantis likes to make a sound just like a hissing snake and spreads its wings to scare a foe. It somehow always seems to know it won't be seen when dining where the leaves are green. Grasshoppers leap, sometimes three feet, and what you thought that you just saw now looks more like a bit of straw. This fly you see looks like a bee and thereby fools its enemy, but here's a clue I'll tell to you. Flies only have one pair of wings, while bees, you see, have two. Spiders are not insects, as I'm sure you know, but this spider is a hider, and she's very, very slow to change herself to yellow and then to pink or white depending on the flower that she decides is right, where she can wait to catch her prey and still be out of sight. Because the world is hostile, all creatures need protection. They need to hide so thoroughly that they defy detection. So, some of them use camouflage to fade away with ease from predators who like to dine upon these predators. But, predators to live must eat, so also fade and are discreet, and then their prey on which they sup can't see who's going to eat them 